Hello, my name is Christopher and today I'll be showing you how to install Nginx Proxy on Portainer, uh, which is Docker Compose underneath and we'll be using the Portainer stacks. So, um, so this tutorial is going to go over Nginx Proxy, which you can actually expose your local services to the internet. Uh, so, I'm going over a series on smart home automation, so if you like that, subscribe, comment, like, and let's get started. So this is Nginx Proxy and exposes your services easily and securely. Um, Nginx is a HTTP a server. Um, so it's get connected, expose your web services, like I've been saying, proxy host, expose your private network web services and get connected. Be a beautiful UI with Tabler, uh, free SSL through Let Let's Encrypt, Docker, and then you can use a Docker image, and that's what we'll be doing today. And you can use multiple uh, users. So you can give multiple users access to create your uh, your different domains. So I created a guest on having the Docker Compose. So I'm going to copy this, and I'll put a link down in the description so you can get to this really easy. I'm going to go over to Portainer. So I'm going to start on the home page. Then I'm going to go to Local. And if you need a tutorial on setting up Portainer, um, I have a link down in the description too for that. So, now we'll go to Stacks. Then, well, when we're in the Stacks, it'll say no Stacks available if you have a fresh installed Portainer. So, let's go ahead and add a Stack right here with this button. We're going to give the Stack a name. So, I'm going to just say Nginx Proxy Manager Stack. So now you can go to the, under the web editor. Um, I'm going to paste in what I just copied in the GIST. And so I'm using version 3.8 of Docker Compose. I'm going to set up services. I'm going to call the service an app. I'm going to use the image off of Docker Hub for JC21 and then Nginx Proxy Manager. I'm going to use the latest version. I'm going to set a restart of unless stops. So this means that it will keep on restarting if it fails. But if you stop it intentionally, it will not restart. So now I'm going to set ports. So on the uh, local side, I'm going to set 80. On the container, I'm going to set 80. In the local side, I'm going to set 81. Container, I'm going to set 81. So 443, I'm going to set on local. In 443 in the container, I'm going to set in there. So, this is just port forwarding the, for, uh, the ports into the container. So, I'm going to set up volumes. So, I'm going to set data a volume. I'm going to set it on the local side. And then on the container side, I'm going to set another volume for Let's Encrypt. So I'm going to set local side and then the container side. So, now that I've went over all that, so let's go and scroll down to deploy the stack. So when you deploy the stack, you're going to go in here, you're going to go in the stack, you can see that your Docker container is running and you have published ports on 443, 80, and 81. 81 is the admin panel for Nginx Proxy Manager. So you can go into the container, you can go to logs right here, and you can see it is starting up and it's checking let, 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 let's encrypt. It's creating a new user. So this is gonna be our user that we're gonna sign into at first. Admin at example.com and then with password change me. So let's go over to the Nginx Proxy Manager UI. So I'm gonna go over to, so you're going to go to your IP that you have, and then you're going to say colon and then 81 on the end. So I'm going to say re re reload. Okay, now I'm lo I I I'm at the login now. So I'm going to press admin at example.com. Say, okay, so your email is your default email at admin at example.com. And then your password for the first time is change me. I'm on 2.10.3 and then sign in here. Okay, now it's going to say edit user. 
So it's gonna want me to enter a different email. So I'm going to enter my email. So once you enter an email, you can also change your full name and you can change your nickname. So I'm gonna say save right here. And then it's gonna ask you to change the password because that's not a secure password because it's default. So the default one is the same one you signed in with, change me as the current one. And then the new one is gonna be whatever you want to have for yourself. So once you're done with that and you put in the new password and you confirm the pa password, I'm gonna say save right here. Okay, now it's saved and we have a user created now. And you can go back to the dashboard, you can see your proxy host, you can see your redirection host, your streams, your 404 host. So you can go in here Go to proxy host, and then you can go to add proxy. So you can put in your domain, then you put your schema of what you're forwarding to on the local side of things. You're gonna put your local IP right here, and then you're gonna decide if that local IP is listening on 80 or 443. And then you can cast the assets, you can block the common exploits, you can set a WebSocket support. And some, uh, some applications will need WebSockets. So now, um, so you can set a custom location. Then you can set your SSL. So you can use Let's Encrypt right here. And you can also set a custom Nginx config. So you have uh, predefined variables up here, server, port, forward schema. So you can go backwards, you can go back to host, you can go to streams now. So you can add a stream. And you can go to 404 host. So you can set your domain right here. You can set the SSL certificate and then you can set the custom NGINX config. So now you can go over to access list and you can add an access list and you can use basic authent authorization via NGINX HTTP basic authentication. So this will be just a username and password that you add and you can add another one. And from then on, you can add another one. So you can have as many as you want, looks like. So you can go to SSL certificates and you can add a SSL certificate and then you can test the server reachability and put in the email address that you will be getting the SSL on the Let's Encrypt side and make sure this is a real email because every time this Let's Encrypt uh, renews, it will send you an email. And then you can also use a DNS challenge. So you can use Cloudflare or any D DNS provider that you're using. And then you just set the credential file here and then you set the propagation uh, seconds. And then you have to agree to let's encrypt terms of service right here. And then you just press save. So you can also add a user so you can go full name, nickname, email, and then you can decide if the role is administrator or disabled. And then now you have, you have an audit log now, so you can search the audit log. You can uh, see what each user's doing. You can go view details, so you can see what they've done it and what date they've done it at. You can go in settings, so you can go over here and you can uh, what show when Nginx is hit with an unknown host. So if it does not find a host, you're going to pick what it does with it. You can re redirect it to another site. You can set custom HTML. You can say congratulations that it's set up. You can say 404 page. And you can go up to edit your details up here, top right. You can go change your password again, and you can sign out. So that's how to get an Nginx proxy manager on Portainer slash Docker Compose. So there you go, how to introduce your Nginx proxy manager to your local services and make it to where those local services can be exposed to the internet. You do have to port forward on your router and you have to port forward 443 and uh, go into the private IP and then, and then forward all the direct traffic for that 443 onto your local service of your index proxy manager. So once you do that, you should be able to expose the services and get it working. So, um, so if you like my tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and if you need any support, you can join the Big Bear community and also you can comment on any of my videos. 
So thank you for watching and stay tuned for more.